Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Oh, it's so cracked, dude. TNT. Yo. If you had to guess what the drunkest state in America is, <coughs> hmm. what would you guess? Well, let's see. There's 50 states. 50. I'm so I'm gonna guess that it's probably in the uh, northeast because that is the saddest area to live. <laughs> the most depressed area. Uh, what? Where's Detroit? In Michigan. Michigan. Where's Michigan? Right next to Ohio, where we grew Wisconsin? up. Wisconsin. Wisconsin's up there too. Okay, let's go with Wisconsin. You were right. <laughs> I already knew the answer. Yeah. Uh, did you? <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, I knew the answer. But like, I, I guess cheated. so. So yeah, Wisconsin is the drunkest state in America. I guess that, that. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. I guess. Why? What's in Wisconsin that makes it the drunk? Because honestly, when it comes to uh, geography, I don't know shit. Um, I don't. I don't know. For some reason, when I when I think of Wisconsin, I think of beer and cheese. What's the capital of Wisconsin? Uh, is it Green Bay? Uh, I knew that until you said it. Uh, <laughs> I know you. Uh, knew that. That's why. Until you asked, I knew it. Uh, Milwaukee? No. Oh, is Milwaukee in? No, it is, but no, it's not Milwaukee. It's um, God damn it! It's I like it's. I was like I was about to say it, and then you went Green Bay, and now all I can think of is the Packers. <laughs> It's Madison. Madison, that's what, yeah. <laughs> Madison, that. Wisconsin. But I remember I guess, that from school. So that doesn't surprise me, I guess. But here, here's the part that you. does surprise me. All right, sure. It says that 25% of Wisconsin adults drink heavily. Okay. 25%. And it says that's 6% more than the national average. So the national average is 19% of adults drink heavily. And I would I, I, now, of course, subjective. I don't know what hev heavily drinking is. I would assume drinking more than a few drinks numerous days a week is drinking yeah, heavily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I drink heavily then. It, I mean, sorry. I mean, are you an alcoholic, <laughs> TNT? I didn't, I, mean, I didn't mean to put let, that let into me, the podcast. Uh, let's ch listen, TNT. I want to talk to you. No, how your alcohol <laughs> is not, your alcoholism is affecting my life. Yeah, well, you know, um, you know, uh, but like, I guess I didn't realize how much people drink because like i don't drink a lot right like like i do enjoy drinking yeah and i will go out i'll have some beers i'll have some whiskey but like i, de I, I definitely even... drink more than you oh a thousand percent i don't like the way you said that <laughs> i have not hit you in months all right i don't even <laughs> <laughs> i need you to stop <laughs> yeah hey listen the abuse has died down okay um like i I don't drink more than once in a week at yeah. the mo like on average over an entire year. Maybe I drink once a week. It's probably closer to twice a month, on if the, that. On the weekends, but I don't even drink every weekend. Oh well, and I don't drink every day of every weekend either. Oh well, yeah, like it's I don't drink during the week at all unless randomly I go out with a friend to have a drink, which is. Every so often. Yeah, and, you know, like, I, man, you know, I like to have a drink on the weekend. Like, it's nighttime. I'll have a couple couple uh, highballs. Yeah. I just, and, you know. And I guess what, what, what surprised me about that fact is not that people heavily. drink. It's the drinking heavily part because I hate waking up and feeling like ass. So yeah. how many people wake up every day feeling like ass because they got drunk the day before? <laughs> I figure over generations of living in Wisconsin, you just become immune to some of the after effects. They build up a tolerance that's uh, incorporated into their DNA. Huh. It can happen. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, like, like they talk about Germans drinking tons and not being affected by it. You know, I, 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 I hate I hate that because every nationality has that about them. You're Russian. You drink a lot. You're Irish. You drink a lot. You're English. You drink a lot. You're American. You drink a lot. You're German. You drink a lot. I mean, you're French. You drink wine a lot. I just, I guess I don't understand why people, let me ask you this. What's why that? do you like drinking? Why do I like yeah. drinking? I wouldn't say I like drinking. It's not like I like, I get hammered or anything. I get, you know, a little buzz on the weekend. I don't know. Um... I don't know. It's, it's nice. Why? Why do people asking me, a person who drinks like a couple drinks on the weekend? Um, I don't know if you can ask me why drinking is nice because I'm I'm not like the I'm not well, the yeah, go to I mean, person. I'm not an aficionado. But you do it. So I do. What do you do it for? Is it so you feel relaxed? To feel like what do you like? What do you like about being? Because I guess where my where I'm going with this. So I'll, I guess I'll, I'm human, and humans find drinking pleasurable. That is why. <laughs> 
That is the best answer I can give you. I don't know. I just do it because that's what humans do. (laughs) It's like asking a person who smokes pot, why do you you smoke pot? I enjoy it. It's fun. I I don't know. Like, what... I don't know what deep physiological level I can go on, except I'm human. <laughs> it hits certain neural receptors. Dopamine is released, and I can feel like I can burn the calories off. All right, cool. I guess what where I was going with that, like for me personally, it's it's like I have this weird relationship with alcohol. Like I I enjoy going out and drinking. Yeah, and like hanging you're, out with my friends. And you're drinking. usually the one that makes that philip philosates fil- 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 Facilitates. facilitates I'm, I'm the organizer. Yeah. I'm the uh, yeah, and I and I like that. And, and then almost every single time I go out and drink, you always get to a point where you're like, "Man, I don't like how I feel." And it's not because I'm getting sick. It's not that like I'm drunk and puking and like all that. It's like I just have a weird relationship where like I enjoyed the the start of the buzz to a certain point. And then when I hit a point, even when not when I'm drunk and like wasted, like I get to a point where I'm just like, I don't enjoy this as much. Like I don't enjoy the, the feeling I get even before I get to the, I'm sick point. Well, I, I kind of feel like that's just about like knowing your limit, but it's so hard because alcohol takes time to catch up. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to go a little slower. I a hundred percent know my limit. So I feel like if you if you know your limit, you, you definitely improve your relationship with alcohol. Because I oh, used, yeah, when I was when good. I was younger, I used to just get drunk until I threw up. <laughs> I remember I went to a wedding, beautiful ceremony by the way. <laughs> I'm sure they remember it well. But they had an open bar that opened up at at eight o'clock, and by nine thirty, I was in the car puking. <laughs> so I've been there. Oh, I've definitely done that but, too. Yeah, I don't know. Now I just I just take it slow, you know. I, I drink here, okay. Drink here, wait a half hour, maybe one more drink. Wait a half hour. You know, somebody's going to force something on you. But I like to get drunk fast. But then I I stop and I'll, I'll and then just slowly off. nurse it the rest of the night. Yeah. Like you like to go from zero to sixty quickly, and then you just slowly yeah. keep it at sixty. Look, yeah, from working night shift and like having everybody else in your life who wants to do stuff during the day, I, I've learned to I can wake up, have a drink. If I work night shift, I wake up, I'll have some drinks, and then by like the by like the end of the day or something, maybe uh, you know I feel fine. I'm not like driving anywhere doing it. And that's the but... other thing too, is like if I day drink, my day is done. Yeah. yeah. Like like I mean I can go Let's like take it slow. I can go out with friends and have like maybe a beer or two at lunch and be fine. Yeah. But if like but if I go out, say during the day and I get to the point where I consider myself borderline drunk. Yeah. And then like say I do that in the morning we go to we go out for lunch and I have like maybe three or four beers and I'm like, Oh, I'm kinda drunk. But not what wasted, just kinda yeah. drunk. Well, I guess when I day drink, I usually intend on going to sleep because I yeah, sleep during the day all the time. That makes so, sense. Yeah. And then, yeah, so then, like, say we do that and we're done at like four. I come home and I'm like, oh man, I've made a terrible mistake. Well, see, I don't know if you're drinking to the point where you're like, hey, I don't feel well, then you're probably drinking too much. And well, you no. don't even drink a lot when we go out either. Who me? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, I think I just have a weird relationship with alcohol. I think like I, I enjoy the light buzz, but even like getting. But I will go out and I'll party and have a great ass time. It's just like, but even if I drink a couple IPAs, sometimes I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want to be this drunk, so I'm just gonna keep drinking. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, I, that's not true. I'm just being an a, in a hole now. <laughs> but like, uh, no, I don't know. And I don't even really. I guess I'm not putting it into words correctly because what I'm saying, it's what I'm trying to say is not coming across the way I mean it's uh, coming across. May, but. Maybe start drinking vodka. Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's it's uh change it up. No more IPAs for you, man. IPAs is good though. I don't know why. The older I get, the more I want bitter ass nasty beer. I know, man. You should try grapefruit juice. Ew, it's good. It's so gross. It's so good. It's... I like bitter stuff though. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like I was like, that's what I was thinking about. Like, man, we can go out later. I should drink some IPAs. And I'm like, no. Why would you do that to yourself? Are we going out tonight? Yeah. Is this, is Couch that... me and Pete. Is that just that's, that's the, today? That's today? <laughs> yeah, everybody's a suspect. Oh, sh- I should get a haircut, man. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, that, that we're talking weeks. about how we're going to spend the rest of our day today. It's fun. They need to know about this stuff. Uh, we just bore our soul on yeah, this podcast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecreasetown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.